Kolo, Koholo, Yao Batshim Yao Shai. Koholo, Yao Batshim Yao Shai. Brokata Yao, Brokata Yao Shai. To what I'll be Yahweh, to what I'll be Yahweh Shai. I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Batshim Yao Shai, Bahashim Rakaha Kodash. I want to give double honors to my teachers. Great Millstone, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel, and Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady with your children. <clears throat> Early morning, Tawa Bawakwa, Aki Manakwaf, Barakatam. You know, early morning, plantation. Another day in Babylon is one more day closer to the return of our Lord. All right? And that is the hope. <clears throat> That is the hope that we have. Hebrews 11 and 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. <clears throat> so through faith as a gift, Ephesians 2 and 8. You know, Abaratazah, Yaharatazah, the elect has been given a gift from the heavens, a spiritual compass. A navigation, a GPS, you know, with the ingredients like faith and diligence, <clears throat> you know, to overcome and to hope for the return of our Lord and to receive salvation. As scripture said in the book of Luke, chapter one, that we want to be saved from our enemies, man. We want to be saved from the destruction that the Heavenly Father is going to bring upon Babylon, a great, great fire that the elements are going to melt. All right. And we hope through the spirit of Yahabah Shem Shari, sincere brother out there, you know, and sisters for mainly the brothers, because the brothers are the ones that the Heavenly Father has called, you know, to prophesy and teach if that is your lot. But we're going to be like Yahweh Shai when he returned, right? Call hello, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That is the excitement, all right? We are anxiously waiting for that day, you know, and pray that the Lord have mercy on us, all right? The scripture said the Lord is coming back with his chariots. He's coming back to, to save the bride that's been crying, the widow. The tears has been running down the widow's cheeks. We've been crying and sighing because of the oppression of Esau, Edom, the beast system. But we shall be like him. Now, let's go start uh, Psalm 17. All right. In verse 13, arise, O Lord, Yahweh, disappoint him. And you can know Job 20, Job 5. You know, Job 20, you know, the, uh, Job prophesied about the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, uh, reigning upon this man's parade when he is about to uh, uh, fill his belly, his enterprise. In other words, his new world order, Novus Seclorum Ordo. And it's not going to be so long right after that the Heavenly Father is going to destroy this man's system. By the way of Yahweh shining the chariots and the nukes. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. See, the Heavenly Father's sword, one of his sword has been Esau. The Lord used this man to punish us, oppress us. You know, because we have been wicked. You know, we've committed wickedness, man. And now we're paying for that. Verse 14, from men which are thy hand. See? Oh, oh Lord Yahweh, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life. Because this life, this era, this eon, 
You know, this age is Esau's age. This is his kingdom. This is his portion. And it's, it's, and it's on its way out of here. And whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. And that's always been the way of the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the elites, families that control the war, that funds the wars, the world itself. They have always done this through family lineage. Now, I want to focus on verse 15. All right? And this is David speaking. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. You know, walking in his ways, man. All right? We go into the scriptures. Um, Moses spoke face to face with the heavenly father. You know? Let me see if I can get that real quick. Face to face. All right. Deuteronomy 5 and 4. The Lord Yahweh talked with you face to face in the mount out of the midst of the fire. All right. And um, we, we're all, we're all somewhat walking and speaking communicating to Yahweh Shem Shai face to face on a spiritual level. Though the scriptures say no, no one and no man has seen, you know, the face of the heavenly father, but spiritually, you know, we have speak, we are speaking to him face to face because we're communicating with him through the spiritual world up down here to this terrestrial world. Via by the Holy Spirit, Yahweh Shai as well, the comforter, but this is it. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Right? David will be in that chariot. Peter, David will be in that chariot. All right? Moses will be in that chariot if you can receive it. These were the same men, spirits. All right. Now let's go into those words lightness. <clears throat> Strong's H8544. Temuna. 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 Form, image, lightness, representation, semblance. All right. Semblance. All right. Now when you go into the uh, root word of this, Strong's H, 4327. Mean. Mean. Second entry. Moon. Moon. <clears throat> what I want to focus is kind, sometimes species, right? But this is what I want to focus on. Groups of living organisms belong in the same created kind. See, we're, we're living organisms, all right? And the elect, Yaharatzah, Abaratzah, you know, they were with the Lord in the beginning, all right? They were created in the beginning, the Alahayims. The elect were in the same kind of category, the first fruits, the spirits, the first fruits, that first church, all right, with our, with our high priest, Yahweh Shai, if you can receive it, you see? That's why David spoke about when I awake with thy likeness, you know? Because we're going to be heirs with Yahweh Shai, Abba Ratzazah. Scripture said we're going to be like him. Super extraterrestrial beings man angels and, and extraterrestrial bodies gods on the earth just like Yahweh Shai is now the top angel sitting on the right hand throne of, of the heavenly father himself man
Let's get First John three and two. Call all your how about Shimei Abishai. First John three, one. Behold, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. This world does not know the heavenly father, man. Let's go to 1 John. So I can bear with me. And 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High, Yahweh, abideth forever. See? Love not the world, because we're not part of this world. We're just in the midst of a wicked generation, the same as... The, the, our forefathers were walking among a wicked generation in their times. Now the men of the Lord, the prophets, the elect are in the scene. All right? And the world doesn't recognize us because they didn't understand Yahweh Shai back then. They don't understand them now. These are the same spirits coming back. Full circle. But this is the point. As David said in Psalm 17, when I awake, I shall be in his likeness. We're going we're gonna to be joint heirs, Yahweh Abaratzazah. Beloved, which is another uh, a, a key word, a dark saying for the elect, his beloved. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it do not yet appear what we shall be. You know, you, you, we, we get the, uh, the rolling, they rolling their eyes at you and, you know, smacking their gums, sucking their teeth at you. You know, our own people too. Esau as well. You know, yesterday at camp, we had an Edomite said that, what we're doing is bullshit, just scoffing and mocking. People are drive by, rolling their eyes, shaking their heads. You know, because in their eyes, they don't understand what this is, what, what this is uh, about. This is, a, this is a spiritual calling. And this is higher than their understanding, man. This is beyond the human comprehension, man. You know, this is why they can't understand they can't see that us looking as regular men, that there's going to be a time that we're going to be a, a change. There's going to be a time that spiritual powers are going to be endowed upon certain men, miracles and healing. All right. The gifts are coming from the heavens. That is the next level for the men of the Lord, man. The time is when the heavenly father is going to cleave. You know, the tongue to the roof of our mouth as he, as he done to Ezekiel, man. And the famine of the word will be uh, 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 brought about. The Lord will remove his prophets and then the next level comes. That's when people will see the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And it do not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, Yahweh Shai, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And every man that have this hope, that's our hope, in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakaha Kodash.
Shalom, Labakarium, Shor, Yasharala. I want to give double honors to my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady and your children. The time is coming. We just got to wait patiently, man. But that time is coming. Lord willing, you are edified. Abba Ratazai, Yahar Ratazai. Shalom.